Were any of you able and feeling so inclined as to pick up one of the new snowmen that uh, rained down on us yesterday uh, with the raw mint? I bought a gold one and it was delivered today, so it'll be unboxed and shown on the channel sometime pretty soon. Uh, also a silver colorized one. <laughs> Well, it's Numistaka here, and welcome to another installment of Mega Grading Results, where um, I get coins submitted to NGC and, uh, and then show you guys the results so we can all learn uh, about mistakes and successes. And uh, first thing I want to say is um, you know when you've taken too long to show these videos, when you haven't even finished the previous set of results, when the next lot have arrived. So expect this series to continue. Lots more mega results will be shown. And this box is the final one of the, um, the set of boxes that you've seen already, starting with some Queen's Beasts. Still perennially popular. I don't know whether their popularity will flag a little bit when the series is finished, which it will be fairly shortly. But right now, um, Queen's Beast Mania is, uh, well... I don't know whether it's a mania, but it's, they're certainly incredibly popular uh, in all varieties. Particularly, I think, the bullion ones. There's a lot of people buying the bullion ones. I still think that the bullion ones represent a, a really good value compared to some of these silver proofs. Um, personally, I have stopped buying silver proof coins generally. Um, I don't. I just don't trust silver proof coins. I don't trust that the premium that uh, I'm spending for them will be maintained over time. But I do certainly um, respect any of the collectors who submit theirs for grading uh, and uh, trying to get sets of 70s for these silver proof coins. And my hope is that over time they don't suffer from any spotting or hazing or anything else which is going to devalue them. You'll find in the next lot of results a lot of these Beatrix Potter coins, perennially popular, uh, lots of Beatrix Potter fans, um, reliving childhood in the UK, buying these coins when they come out from the Royal Mint. Uh, no, no problem selling them, although some of these coins over the last couple of years, the premiums have not been massive on the second-hand market, whereas the 2016 coins were actually pretty good and are still uh, selling for very large premiums, particularly the Peter Rabbit. Uh, and you will see, uh, a little spoiler for you, a Peter Rabbit 2016 in the next lot of videos that actually got a really, really good grade. Gruffalo, this is the first one in the series. Just had a release of the second Gruffalo in the series, the Gruffalo with the mouse. Uh, all the Gruffalo coins are nice and popular and a good choice. Uh, although some of the gold ones seem to have had quality issues. 2019 Proof Sovereign. It's a regular favourite, really. I mean, even in the years where the design isn't fabulously interesting, um, shall we more generously call it classical rather than uh, not special? Because they're all pretty special, but some years they really try very hard to do a special design. Coin Connection, the name for quality assured modern coins. I know you guys hate adverts, so let's just call it 2% Rachel. Rachel in November. This next coin is um, a collectible coin from the Isle of Man. Um, one of those that's been produced by the new people, not sure who they are, who took over from the Popjoy Mint. Uh, when they lost their contract to produce Isle of Man coins. And these Peter Pan coins, there is a series, this is part of a series of a number of coins, and um, they seem to be pretty sought after. Um, and that's the first one I think I've had in for grading. 2007, gold 50p's. Is it better to buy old gold, like this one, or the brand new gold? Um, Probably an old 50p like this will set you back maybe 750, 800 pounds. Um, a brand new 50p might set you back 
almost a thousand pounds. Which one is the best value? It's a sovereign here. A number of people grading things like this. If they see a good one, MS69 is a pretty good grade for that kind of uh, coin. Kew Gardens. Lots of Kew Gardens. There's quite a few Kew Gardens in the next lot as well. Um, people are running around finding good quality Kew Gardens coins uh, and getting them graded. Very difficult to get a top grade with this coin, but relatively straightforward to get a middle to high grade. Um, even ungraded, some of these coins change hands for up to £200. When you think about it, it's a little bit of a crazy price. But then again, this is the rarest of the circulation releases for the 50 pence, and it is definitely the most collectible at the moment. 2005 Sovereign. This is the bullion version of the, uh, the node-designed St George, and I do have a liking for the special designs. This particular collector also has a great liking for this particular design and has been hunting down a whole load of these uh, bullion versions of the 2005 Sovereign design. And you quite often find that people hunt for either all 2002s or 2005s or, you know, and I, I can't fault it as a concept because depending on how you pick up these coins and whether you pick them up for a good price, there's lots of demand for um, for these special year designs, whether they're bullion or whether they are proof coins. This this is one of the 50th anniversary proof uh, Krugerrands, quarter Krugerrand. This one got a 69. One I graded a while back got a 69. Uh, really nice coin. I told you there were a number of queues, and uh, there's a whole queue of queues waiting to come out the grading system and come onto the market. So uh, if you are after a graded queue gardens, I can certainly put you in touch with somebody who might have one for sale uh, over the next few weeks. This one's the 2008 Mule 20 pence. It's the one that uh, never actually got to say 2008, which is why the 2008 is in brackets on the label. I was thinking earlier on today about how best to present these coins when they come back from grading to maybe um, add a little bit of interest. And what I thought I'd do with the next lot is I'm going to pick the top five coins that I think came out um, the grading and tell you guys why I've picked them, see if you agree with me, but um, I'll do them in reverse order, five, four, three, two, one, and we can see which are the top ones, which ones were more interesting, which ones had a story, which ones were particularly good to get graded. Um, you know, just which I, I'm, people may not agree with everything that I pick out, but it'll give you my view on which ones I feel are just a little bit special. Um, and it should be interesting because there's probably two or three hundred coins coming up um, over the next weeks, ten days out of that grading system. And so I'll try and pick maybe five coins out the two or three hundred coins. And, uh, you know, and you'll have seen all the others in the regular Mega Results grading videos. So you'll be able to see whether you would have picked those coins, whether there are other ones that were graded that maybe you would have picked instead but we should have quite a good time doing it. Not so many people these days choosing the special labels. Uh, there was a rash of special labels at one stage. A lot of these coins are the regular brown label. But um, that brings us to the end of, uh, of that box and uh, the end of the, uh, the current series of Mega Results. I think I'll get one or two videos up um, of some arrivals and maybe some of the gold 50p's that have been out recently. And then uh, we can do the first of the new Mega Results series after that. So uh, thanks a lot for staying with me and uh, thanks a lot for uh, all of your support and great comments uh, over the last 
few months um, as we hit 15,000 subscribers and going on to 16 and maybe 20,000 subscribers uh, with any luck over a period of time. So uh, like, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts and uh, more good stuff coming on the channel pretty soon, I hope.